I made some expensive mistakes in part two of the van build. It all started when I got the van from an auction and spent the next three days cleaning it all out, painting it all up, adding some sound deadening panels and getting ready to plug some of the holes that are in the bottom of the van with some Sikaflex. And then it was time to fill in the gaps between the ribs on the bottom of the van. So I used some foam, cut it out and slotted it in position and then spent some time varnishing the plywood floor so that it wouldn't get all stained and yuck. I found this stuff on the side of the road, which I think is a vapor barrier. Anyway, I decided to put it underneath the plywood floor. And this is the pretty floor I ended up removing in later videos. I'll let you see that. Then I decided to glue some wood to the metal of the van so that I could screw into the wood instead of the metal panels. It takes ages to custom build each piece. But I hustled and got it done, so it's got a pretty tight fit. And with that little job you ticked off the list, it was time to tackle the shock and lights that came with this vehicle. I changed a manky yellow light to a blue light, fog lights, low beam, high beam. And then headed out on an adventure in the fog, blissfully unaware that 